Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Explode Your Expert Biz Show. Simone Vincenzi here, and today is going to be a very short episode. Why? Because I have a webinar that I have to start in about 20 minutes, but I decided to do this episode anyway, no matter what, in particular because we are live on my Facebook page, Simone Vincenzi, like every Tuesday. Today, a bit uh, later than usual, but uh, I made it. I managed to make it. So today I wanted to talk about uh, selling because we released episode 111 with Lenka Lutonska about the energetic selling method. If you haven't listened to this episode, make sure that you listen to it right now. Uh, oh, well, not right now, as soon as we finish, listen to this one, because uh, it is very powerful and it shows you a great methodology to sell. So now what I wanted to share with you are three things that I use uh, to skyrocket my conversion when selling. So these are three things I've learned to, uh, that are really important when you're selling one-to-one -one or one-to-many. First of all, there is something called uh, handling objection up front, preempting objection. That's the first technique. Uh, what do I mean about this? Now, you will know that there are going to be some questions that uh, your clients will have or some concern that will prevent them to buy. Some people might say, oh, I don't have enough time. Some people might say, oh, I don't have enough money. Some people might say, oh, I don't see the value. Some people might say, oh, I need to ask to my partner. So because you know that those questions, somehow they are going to come into the equation at some point, if not all of them, at least some of them, then uh, what you can do is uh, to make sure that while you are selling, you are preempting those objections. So if you have a payment plan, make sure that people are aware of the payment plan option up front to handle the objection of money. If uh, there is, uh, for example, um, a, a way that to give them more time, uh, then they can handle immediately the objection, I don't have enough time to go through it. If they have, for example, a question about, uh, you know that a lot of your clients are always saying, I need to ask my husband or I need to ask my wife, then uh, put a story of a moment of a person that they decided to take a decision themselves or that their husband and wife were supportive and they approved that decision once it's been made. So these are small things that will make a massive difference. So tip number one is uh, preempting objections up front. Make sure that they are there because if you are not closing in sales, that's my probably one of the reasons why one of the things that you are not doing. The other thing that you can do to skyrocket your conversion again from the get-go, from the first time you meet these clients, is to ask them, um, based on this conversation, so you ask them based on the conversation that you're going to have, so you sign posts, you're going to share with them what value they're going to receive in the call, then you say, so if uh, uh, you like what we have to offer and we see that we are a good fit uh, moving forward together, is there anything that could stop you to moving forward today? And I would ask you at the very beginning of the conversation, after we establish report and I have established the, 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 the agenda of the conversation. And why am I doing that? Because I know that that person might have some objections. So what if I was able to know these objections up front rather than at the very end of the conversation? Would that be more useful for me and for the clients? Absolutely yes. So that's why on top of preempting the objection, I'm always asking them, so if there is, if we find that we are a good fit, is this something that right now you know already that could stop you from moving forward together? So some people will say, well, I need to know the price. Some people will say, well, I don't know how long it's going to take to work with you or they don't know um, what result am I going to have. I don't know if uh, you're going to be able to provide the results that I want. Then you can steer a conversation talking about those talking points. And that's very powerful. And then we have one more thing. So we said about the preemptive and the objections. Then the second thing we talked about in this uh, short uh, interview, in this short um, uh, live, is uh, the um, uh, asking the question up front about what kind of objection you might have. And then we have the last one. And the last one is always asking at least five times if someone wants to buy. Now, some of you might say, what? This is incredibly uncomfortable. And some of you might say, what, just five times? I ask at least 10. Now, wherever you are in the spectrum, that's fine. But I found that five is the limit between someone uh, giving a, a, a good answer, a positive answer, and someone getting very annoyed. 
Why? Because why is important to ask multiple times to work together for the business? Because a lot of times people they will they are looking for a leader. They are looking for someone who is not willing to give up on them. Now, even if you show with respect that you care about them, that you care about their business, that you are the person that you would do anything you can in your power to find a win-win solution. And ask him multiple times, does this work for you? Does this work for you? Do we have an agreement? Are you happy to move forward? At least five times before you give up. And at least five different options before getting let go, letting go of the sale. You will find that your conversion from selling will skyrocket in, in, immediately. So these are three things that you can do. One is to preempt objections. Two, so I've already stories prepared in your sales presentation to handle those objections, to ask from the very beginning what kind of things could be stopping them from moving forward, and three, always ask at least five times for the business, five different approaches and different angles for someone to say, yes, I want to work with you. So this is uh, more about selling. I'm going to deliver a more comprehensive one, and actually on the next episode, which will be episode 113, where I'm going to deliver a solo episode again, once again. No, um, 113, 114, one of those, where I'm going to deliver a solo episode only on sales, and I'm going to share with you a model that we have created called the Wilo model, which will help you sell massively. Also, if you haven't uh, listened to Lenka Lutonska interview, episode 111, make sure that you listen to that episode. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our show, make sure you subscribe right now. And also let me know, do you like this format of a short uh, podcast? It's something that I've never done before. All my podcast has been longer than 20, 25 minutes, uh, 30 minutes general. So let me know. If you like it, send me an email at simone at gtex.org.uk. You can find me on Facebook at, uh, at now our Facebook group, Explode Your Expert Biz Community. You can find that on Facebook. And let me know. Do you like that? And if yes, maybe I'll do more of these. Who knows? Uh, see you next time. Ciao.